Welcome back. A lonely construction worker accidentally breaks a glass container of soil, which is his only connection to his deceased grandmother and their farm, which was invaded when he was a child. That's after a third-year student, Gokezo Motlabane's latest film titled Bua. The film, which stars Ashwala Menzi and Mohapi Lutwanyani, is part of the student film festival taking place at the Cinema Nouveau next Friday, the 23rd of November. Well, Motlabani, who produced the film alongside Amokhelang Sitsedi, join us now to tell us more about Bua, which means to speak in Sitsana. Ladies, welcome to Money Love. It's great to have you on the show. <laughs> oh, thank, thank, you you. thank you for having us. <laughs> Quickly take us through um, the concept and the inspiration behind Bua. All right, so Bua is a short film mm -hmm. where Letabo goes on a journey to go and find the soil that has broken. Okay, so he drops a, um, a glass of soil. And because he feels like it's contaminated by touching foreign ground, he actually goes back to go and find it and scoop it, of course. Um, it's very metaphorical, especially because we're talking about the whole land issue and how black people actually want their land back, which is a situation that needs to be discussed. Um, so that's exactly what we are going through with Bua, where we are saying it from a young person's perspective, that even if we were not there in the past and we didn't really see this firsthand, we are still able to feel, you know, mm, what is hurts. happening yeah. afterwards because of it. Yeah. All right. Well, can take us through uh, just your, your role. But uh, do you want to say something just to add to what yeah, yeah, Amo was course. saying? <laughs> so we start with showing the past, exactly what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. When Letabo's family, as, long as, as well as other people who lived in the farm, were invaded and actually forcefully removed from the land. Mm -hmm. And then we jump into the future where Letabo is lonely and is a construction worker and is struggling throughout his life. And then this glass of soil that he breaks is actually a connection to his ancestors as yeah. well. So we show how uh, forceful land removals have ac affected black people economically and both culturally. And yeah. spiritually, and as, spiritually well. as well. Because we are the soil and the soil is one with exactly. us and that's our theme that we are going with. Yeah. All yeah. right, fantastic. Okay, quickly take us through just your role in the film. Also, I'm a producer. So a producer, basically, you find a team and you put it together. So that's how I found Amu. So I'm a believer of African stories. I want to tell our narratives. And I ac actually want to also contribute to the economic uh, film in South Africa as a whole. So you find that, you find funders as well. And basically, you just have to make sure that the whole film and mm. the whole vision comes together because you bring the whole team together <laughs> and you manage, you micromanage everyone. <laughs> and speaking of team, who are just uh, some of the people that are involved in this project? Okay, so definitely I need to mention the other co-producer, Wanda Nikila. Um, I need to mention Menzi Mashuala, who, it, who is our protagonist in the mm -hmm. story. Um, we've got colorists, of course, like um, Lerato Santos. Yeah. We've got um, so many more. Um, yeah. Our cinematographer, which is a black female, she's young and she's doing amazing things out there, Lavani Shikwambana as well. Yeah. It's a whole list. <laughs> Casting the characters, and yeah. I want to speak specifically about the protagonist. Mm -hmm. um, how, how difficult is that or how did you really have, um, what specifics really were you looking for in, in, in the character? Well, we're looking for somebody who is going to carry, who understands First of all, what we, the story we're trying, the narrative we're trying to tell, right? Somebody who's been through it. So definitely a young black man. And also somebody who's going to carry the emotional relevance, mm. right? So Menzi exactly came across as that because we've seen uh, most of his performances at AFTA. So it wasn't really difficult finding him. All right. Amo, for you, talk to us about... Uh, how the title of this film resonates with you, Bua. Yeah. Why, why is it uh, something that you think is significant, specifically looking at uh, young black people and all the socioeconomic and political yeah. um, uh, 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 things challenging mm. our existence at the mm. moment? Like I keep saying to my little sister especially, especially at a young age, it's time for us to speak about these things. Um, we like pushing things under the carpet mm -hmm. and we attract more dirt by doing things like that and therefore it's very important for us to actually go out there speak about things that harm us whether people are going to be comfortable with it or not i feel like we need to voice them out mm -hmm. because that's exactly how we as south africa as a whole actually can go into spaces and be like listen it's uncomfortable but i need to deal with the elephant in the room mm -hmm. so yeah for me it's about speaking you need to speak about things that make you uncomfortable mm -hmm. things that are not making you 
happy whatsoever you know go out there and speak about it yeah and not to speak but engage with each engage other engage with well. you know yeah all right yeah. Uh, okay um i just want to come back to you about what you would like audiences to walk away having gained from watching this film so we're not trying to offer solutions we're not really trying to say um, here's what we're saying, but we're reflecting the, uh, the society. But most importantly, the society as we know it, as we feel it, right? So hopefully everybody will be able to work, uh, walk with the character and actually see and feel the story mm. because this is reality. This is what we feel, right? We're not trying to say that. We're not trying to make you comfortable. So everybody who's coming must be ready that they're not going to feel comfortable. Yeah, they're going to feel comfortable. Definitely uncomfortable. Both so, the races, the black and exactly, the... And the white, yeah. exactly. And of so course we're challenging both races with this narrative because we're telling the truth as we know it and we're telling the truth exactly how we are experiencing it today. Mm. So we're not trying to say, oh yeah, then we're not trying to also break into, okay, we are forgiving each other or whatever because we live in a world where democracy is there. But let's face it, we're still at the bottom of the food chain That's as black true. people. Yeah. We're still suffering so much. Every, uh, every company you go to every school you go to mm. you feel it mm. you feel it starts with you being black even the shade of your skin is a problem so it's we a debit order on exactly. itself that you can't even <laughs> exactly. you know deal you with you understand yeah you can't do anything anyway you you get a degree this is my second degree right you get a degree but it's still the same mm. so we're trying to say it's still the same in an existing democracy. So definitely that's something what you're going to get. Exactly. All right. So some things need to be changed yeah, according exactly. to you ladies. And of course, I mean, just to uh, echo your sentiments, art was never main, meant to make anyone comfortable. Definitely. It's meant to spark, you know, those debates in society. Mm -hmm. And it forces us to self-reflect and look ourselves in the mirror. Yeah. Uh, what does it mean for you guys to be part of the Student Film Festival, which is taking place at the Cinema Nouveau? Definitely for me, and I'm speaking for the rest of the crew as well, definitely it is a... Uh, a platform for us to actually go out there and be like we're here we're going to tell the real stories uh -huh. we're not going to try and make everybody feel comfortable entertain only you know there are stories that need to be told you know yeah. we face um places like the northwest where a person was killed just for walking onto a certain specific land to go and get an orange he was probably hungry you know and nothing is being justified about things like this yeah. however people want justification in films in other sorts of you know yeah so i feel like this is exactly what we're supposed to be doing all yeah. right and yeah. for you i think basically the same thing as well so basically, I think she said it all. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, very quickly, guys. Um, where and when can people see this film? So we, uh, pre this is a world premiere. So mm -hmm. it's premiering for the first time because we're planning to take <laughs> this to festival and planning to do so much more with it. Even extend uh, the film. The it's narrative. 12, exactly, the narrative. It's 12 minutes long. So you can catch us at Cinema Nouveau on the 23rd mm -hmm. at half past five. Okay. And tickets are turning around. We have the tickets right now. You can buy them with the same <laughs> right Just saying. <laughs> all yeah. right. Yes. Okay. So, um, well, thank you, ladies, so much for coming. And all the best. I mean, you continue making those films that really reflect the voices of young black women and South Africans in general. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, you for much. having us. <laughs> all right. So, okay. so Matt Laban is the producer of the film Bua, which will premiere at the Student Film Festival at Cinema Novo. And that's uh, next Friday, the 23rd of November. Well, Bua stars uh, Mashwala Menzi and Mohapi Lehlonyan. Of course, uh, she was here with uh, Amo Khelang, who also just, uh, you know, really gave us uh, great insights into why we should see this film and why it is so important.